Hey everybody, this is Greg Savage from MachineMasters.com here to answer another follower's question. And actually, it's quite a few followers' question is, uh, Greg, what mic did you use in that bass video? And what microphones do you recommend for those who are looking to get in sound design and record their own sounds and create their own sounds? So, here's what I recommend. Now the first mic I'd recommend is an MXL 603S. This is the same uh, microphone I was using in that video where I was recording the clippers and making like a really deep bass sound. This will set you back about $40 to $60 depending on where you buy it from. And it is a small diaphragm condenser or as some would say a pencil mic or cigar mic. It's really good at capturing transients. The next mic I'd recommend is an Octava MK12. And the reason being is it has a nice dark sound. Not too dark, it's just not as bright as something like a Rode NT5 or the uh, MXL603. It's a sound that I like, you know, obviously. That's why I'm recommending it. Um, but you're going to get the bang for your buck out of this mic if you get the additional capsules, which are Omni, you know, cardioid, which is the standard, hypercardioid, figure eight patterns as well. Um, different capsules offer different characters. And if you can afford it, go for it. Now, stepping out of the cigar mic or small diaphragm condenser mic range, I do recommend using a large condenser mic. This is where you're going to get the body of your sounds. If you can afford it, I'd suggest getting the AKG uh, 414. It's a multi-pattern microphone. Sounds really good. Standard in a lot of studios. Sounds good on vocals, instruments. Great for sound design. This will probably set you back about four or $500. Sometimes you can find them on eBay for about $200 a piece. Sometimes there's lots of studios that are liquidating and they're just trying to get their gear out cheap. You know, they thought they wanted to start a studio. Then they find out how hard it is to run a studio. And then they just start liquidating their gear. Now, if that mic is too much for you, the next mic I'd recommend is an Audio-Technica 2050, which is also a multi-pattern mic. There's definitely cheaper ones available, like a Studio Projects B3, which also sounds pretty decent, but the Studio Projects, you can generally get that for about 140, 150. The AT is gonna be closer to 200, 220, depending on where you get it. I would spend the extra money and get the AT. It just sounds better. So anyway, those are the microphones that I use and I would suggest if you're trying to get into sound design or if you know, you're just looking for some extra mics to have in your arsenal. Uh, hope this has helped. If you have any questions on these mics or just any questions at all on sound design, please leave a message in the comment. Let me know what you like to see on this channel and I will see you guys next week.